Shirika la maendeleo ya wanawake humu nchini linaadhimisha miaka sabini tangu kuanzishwa kwake. Kinara wa Kenya Martha Karua, mwakilishi wa kike wa Muranga Sabina Chege, naibu gavana wa Nyeri Caroline Karugu na Aida Odinga ni baadhi ya wanawake wanaohudhuria sherehe hizo huko mjini Kisumu. Tunaungana na mwandishi wetu Laura Otieno ili atupashe zaidi kuhusu uh, sherehe hizo. Laura Na mshukran sana uh, kama ulivyosema tupo katika sherehe za maadhimisho ya miaka sabini ya shirika ya maendeleo ya wanawake na kama unavyojua kwa sasa ni wakati wa joto la kisiasa ambapo tumeona kwamba kumekuwa na masala mengi ikiwemo masala ya kuhakikisha kwamba wanawake wanahusishwa katika mchakato mzima wa uongozi tumekuwa pia tukishuhudia uh, kukiwa na uh, mijadala mbalimbali katika sekta mbalimbali ambapo uh, maudhui yenyewe imekuwa ni kwamba wanawake wahusishwe kikamilifu sio katika masala ya kisiasa bali katika masala katika nyadhifa mbalimbali na hapa nizungumze moja kwa moja na baadhi ya viongozi uh, wewe kama naibu gavana uh, je uh, mtazamo wenu ni nini kuhusiana na uh, maendeleo ya wanawake kufikia sasa miaka miaka sabini baadaye well asante sana thank you very much um, you know the organization of uh, maendeleo ya wanawake is 70 years old and really we have made appreciable efforts in uh, creating safe spaces for women creating uh, gender parity and gender equity and even bringing forth the conversation uh, that uh, that puts the woman on the table the next um, agitation for women is not only in representation but to ensure that even the grassroots women's need is is uh, is taken care of the next dispensation for instance and i know for sure without any reasonable doubt that the next dispensation is that that we'll see Raila Molo Odinga lead this country we are sure that under Raila Molo Odinga's uh, government the needs for women one that is very key to us is the need for health care for the grassroots women will be taken care of and we are very excited about the program the Obamacare program which will take further Uhuru Kenyatta's UHC program. We are also very excited about the last mile connectivity for water because for a woman really those women in the villages uh, having water dignifies their life. So we want to say that uh, we are excited about the, uh, the, the, the emerging issues around women. We are also very excited that now the first time in the history of Kenya we are looking at a first female deputy president and for me that would be Mother Kara without a doubt and we are very excited that these prospects that these conversations are on the table and I want to say on behalf of women of Kenya now more than ever before we are excited as the prospects of not only representation not only presence of women but their needs being part of the needs that are going to be on the table for the Azimio government. I thank you very much. Thank you. Asante sana. Pia hapa ni na mwakilishi wa kike kutoka county ya Moranga. Umekuwa moja wapo wali ambao wapo katika kinyanganyiro cha kuwa naibu wa uh, Raila Odinga katika, katika uchaguzi ujao. Je, kwa mtazamo wako kama mwanamke, unaona kwamba uh, ni ma, mikakati gani ambayo imewekwa kuhakikisha kwamba paka kina, paka sasa wanawake kama wewe mnaweza kujitokeza uwazi na mseme kwamba sisi pia tuna ile uwezo wa, wa uongozi. Um, katika Azimio uh, tum mepoa nafasi kama wa mama tukianzia na ile council jubili uh, katika memba council ya azimio lipena jina langu na tuko na Naomi Shaban pia tuko na mama Ngilu pale tuko na mother Karua ambaye amechaguliwa na chama chake cha NAC na nafasi kubwa ni pale ambapo jubili lipena jina langu kama naibu wa rais mother Karua kanukua nominate na chama chake na pia charity ngiru kama nominate na chama chake na tuna matumaini sisi wa mama atupeani condition atusemi ni lazima lakini tunasema tungefurahia kama kwa mba mmoja wetu angakuwa yeye ndio atachaguliwa kuwa naibu wa rais lakini sisi hatupeani tunasema ati ni condition lazima sisi tumejitolea kama wamama na tumejitolea kushikilia azimio na tutakuwa tuki launch very soon azimio mashinani tunataka azimio la wamama mashinani ambapo tuna target uh, over 1 million women ambapo tutaenda kwa nyumba kwa vijiji tukizungumza na kina wamama na kwa sababu tunajua wamama wakikuwa katika ndani la azimio tutashinda kwa sababu kile mama akikuelezea kitu akwambia atakupa atakupa kwa hivyo sisi tunataka kushirikiana na kina mama na hiyo ndio ile kazi tuko nayo kubwa sana ile kazi ya kushikanisha wa mama na pia tukiingia katika azimio pia tunaangalia ile ambayo itakuwa ni manifesto yetu iwe ni manifesto ambayo ni friendly kwa wamama kwa vijana ili tuinue jamii ili mama kuwe na pesa mfukoni sisi hatusemi kazi ni kazi tunasema kazi kwa wote hatunataka pesa mfukoni hatunataka kufukuza ufukara tulete maji katika vijiji vyetu kwa sababu saa zile mama 
akiinuka pia jamii na inuka na tunajua pia watoto wetu wataweza kwenda shule kwa hivyo wazimio ni movement ambayo ningesema ambayo inataka kufikia kila mama na umeona maendeleo ya mama wengi wa wamama ambao wamekuwa hapa wamekuwa ni viongozi walianzia pale maendeleo kwa hivyo pia tutaangalia kama maendeleo pia itaamuka katika mashinani ili pia wasichana wale ambao tukisema ni wale middle class wale ambao sio wamama na sio youth wale young mothers pia wajoin maendeleo kwa sababu isipokuwa ile skills wao wanafundishwa pia uongozi wanafundishwa hapa kwa maendeleo yes. naam na, sana huyo ni mwakilishi wa kike katika kaunti ya Moranga na pia katika uh, tunaona kwamba kuna shamra shamra ambazo zinaendelea na pia kuna baadhi ya viongozi wa kike akiwemo uh, kiongozi ama kinara wa chama cha NAC uh, Martha Karua ambaye pia amewasili katika hafla hii kwa hivyo ni swala ambalo tutaangalia kwa kina na kuangalia ili tuone ni vipi ambavyo uh, swala la ama ajenda ya kina mama inazungumziwa hii leo katika mchakato wa kuadhimisha miaka sabini ya uh, shirika la maendeleo la wanawake nchini na pia kuona nafasi ya kina mama katika siasa ni gani Huyo ni Laura Otieno kutoka Kisumu